Hi, I'm here to break down the need to knows of a heavy duty electrical system for you. It's no surprise that a vehicle's electrical system is pretty important. I mean, it does stuff like start the engine, keeps it running, and powers the electrical components, lights, climate control, entertainment systems, and all that. Since we always want the system to operate at peak performance, all parts need to be in top-notch working order. Let's get to know the parts. The electrical system is comprised of batteries, cables, wiring, and switches, the starter, and the alternator. First up, the batteries. They store the electrical energy needed to provide the voltage and current to start the vehicle. Batteries have a few jobs. First, the batteries convert chemical energy to the electrical energy needed to operate the starter. They also provide key off power and power to supplement loads that exceed alternator output. And third, the batteries serve as a shock absorber for the system. Next up are the cables and wiring that connect the components. Keep these in mind, they're typically the most overlooked part. Keeping cables and wires in good condition is key, but also paying attention to the appropriate size for the electrical load requirements of the application. Moving on, let's look at the starter. When the ignition switch is activated, the batteries send current to the starter control circuit. Do you know the typical flows for the electric current? It's either 12 or 24 volts, depending on system requirements. That electrical flow is measured in amps. As electricity flows to the starter, the starter's electric motor then cranks the engine and starts the truck. So now, think of that voltage requirement when selecting a starter. You'll need to know the application's voltage, since starters are designed for various voltages. Lastly, take a look at the alternator. Think of the alternator as the power plant for the whole vehicle, maintaining battery charge and powering all the components. This part gets a little technical, but stick with me. The alternator does this by converting the mechanical energy back into electrical energy. When selecting an alternator, you'll need to know the electrical load needed by the application. Remember, this is measured in amps. You'll want an alternator with a higher amp output than the amount needed, typically 20 to 30% more than the load requirements. And that's it. Knowing the importance of each component's role in the electrical system is huge when it comes to keeping everything running smoothly. After all, how well each individual part performs directly impacts the operations and functionality of the whole system. Next, you can learn more about starters and alternators by checking out our other videos.